know, customers and technicians are always asking me, what do I use inside the home since we're an eco-friendly company? Well, it isn't one product. Like, what do you spray for roaches or what do you spray for ants? And, well, it's actually more of a process and it's an integrated pest management process with a combination of products that are reduced risk, minimum risk products that we have a protocol that we've created pretty much for every pest. But this is my standard kit that I take into every home, every multi-unit, every apartment building, uh, every commercial building to treat inside. And everything that we could possibly need to treat, we can treat with this, with the exception of a couple of occasional invader pests. Now the most important thing that we have is our first tools is going to be our light and our knife that we carry. We always carry gloves in the front of the pouch so there's always an extra pair there. We carry a box in the back of our truck, in the front of our truck. And even though none of the products in here require PPE, personal protection equipment, we still have a standard of PPE that we use, which is gloves, okay? And we have our light to inspect, you know, for um, our pests and that we have in our home. Um, this is standard. It's always on our hip. We also carry a, a knife, uh, this case a box opener, packaging, all kinds of packaging need opening all the time. We always carry standard uh, one of those. Uh, in the front of our pouch, like I said here, we just put spare gloves. So if we you know, break one while we're doing the service, we can easily just grab it and replace it. Uh, in the front is where we start storing product. I'm going to show you. This bag I love, this was I get at Home Depot. I think we get these for about between $20 and $30 for this bag. It's an amazing, uh, we've used other bags that are $60, $70. This one seems to be the most. Here's where we carry all our roach gel. We use a lot of roach gel, especially if you're doing multi-unit. Um, this is probably enough to do 20, 30 units. Um, so you're not gonna run out. You're not gonna do 30 units in a day uh, unless you're a superhero. But this is what we carry. Right now, we're using Advion Evolution. You can see there, it is Advion Evolution for German roach control. By the way, we also use this for American roach control, especially for NIMS. Uh, it does great for NIMS uh, for control um, without having to do any spraying at all. Uh, we can get the control. Booties. Number one is booties. Why? Because we're going into people's homes. We're walking out with the rain. Uh, there is, you know, poopy that we step on when we're out in their yards and out of courtesy, it is mandatory that we carry booties. So every home, every place that we do an interior service, every tech has to wear booties inside the home, no exceptions. So we carry that. We've got evolution. I'm going to cover this up for you because I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to show you on the inside what we carry. Well, let's go with the outside first and the outside pockets. There's two outside pockets here. And in one of these pockets, we're going to carry foam. Use Daptex foam for all indoor sealing. All of the pipes in kitchens and bathrooms, toilets, underneath the sinks, air conditioning closets, wherever we find holes that have been left where American roaches especially can get through, cables that the cable guy left, we're going to seal this inside the home. And the, way, the reason we love this product is because it's water cleanup. So if you accidentally spill it, you can easily clean it up with a piece of paper and water, where if you use a yellow foam, you're going to make a mess inside that home. You're going to need a solvent to clean it up. So we don't use it for exterior sealing. We only use it for interior sealing. Uh, you know, you're in an apartment. There's pipes going up into the second floor of the ceiling, and you need to seal around that to keep insects from coming across. This is what we would use. Over here on this side, we have a B&G bulb duster. And what I've done is I've adapted it with the hose so that we can treat underneath cabinet voids where you cannot tip this over because you've got to get it at an angle unless you're using dust. But if you're using bait, which is what we're using in here, you need to tilt it at about that angle, about that angle to get the bait to come out. And then we need to put it inside cabinets. And if you've ever tried using a duster, 
to put bait inside cabinet voids, that's that space between the floor and the, and the floor of the cabinet and the floor of the house, you know it's impossible. Uh, so in, this is great adaption quarter. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch hose. We adapted it to it, and there it is. I'll put it over here so you guys can see it. All right, so now we've got our sealant. We've got our booties, got our knife, we've got a, a lantern, and we're going to start looking inside and see what other goodies we have in here. All right, now, second lamp, headlamp. We got a headlamp because we're working inside cabinets. You don't have the flexibility with both hands to be using stuff, um, so you don't have to be doing that. Uh, headlamp, we got one of those additional. All right. This nifty little tool, I'm going to show you how we use it, but basic is for retrieving blue boards and things that fall behind units. Check this out. Grab anything with that. All right, so we got that. Blue board monitor. We're using Trapper Max, non-toxic, non-baited glue board. And the reason we use this is for German roach control, American roach control, for capturing all kinds of pests. It's got a beautiful wide surface on it. So if you've got fleas in that house and you don't know about it, if you've got moths, if you've got um, sausage like uh, book lice and you don't know it and you're not finding it, when you're doing your inspections, this is what tells you what's in that home. Also, it'll catch mice. So if we put this underneath the fridge, underneath the stove, usually if we can in the back of the stove all the way up against the wall where nobody sees it. Unlike the little monitors you glue up, this is way better, uh, we found, for a lot of those areas, especially also in, in garages where people have snakes coming in, they got mice coming in. You, this can close up and turns into a monitoring station, and you catch all kinds of things with that. PPE. We've got on the top right there our knee pads. So we're going to do a lot of work on our knees, Tech those guy. knees. I'm telling you, when you hit 40, 50, and you've been doing this for 10, 15 years, you're going to feel it on your knees. You've got a, a lot of work that you have to do inspecting uh, underneath cabinets and underneath kitchen appliances uh, and things. You need those knee pads. All right, we're going to get into product now. Um, one of the products that we carry, Entice 10. It's a borate bait um, for those sensitive accounts that do not want synthetic borate baits. Silverfish, it does okay. American roaches, it does a really good job. It depends on the ant species. You can't control everything with it, but it is our number one for putting in garages and in places where people can touch it uh, because it is a borate product. So if you gotta put it out around the perimeter, it's a great product. It will hold up to weather really well. Um, we like that product. The other one we're using uh, for borate services, when the customer is requesting is boractin. It's a borate product. Uh, borates like uh, boric acid, borax, is what we're focusing on there. Um, let's see, what other borate product do we have in here that's a goodie? Ah, magnetic roach bait, boric acid gel bait for roaches. Right here, you have for American roaches, you have a great combination of products to put in wall voids, uh, right here with Magnetic, Entice 10, and Baractin. Um, it, it also um, does well uh, in places that is moist uh, with the Baractin. So that is a great product that you're going to have for those sensitive accounts that don't want synthetic. All right, now getting into uh, IGR. If you're using an IGR for roach control, gentle point source. This is a great little product because there's no spraying involved with this. Yes, they are more expensive, but you also save on the labor on the long run, plus there's no spraying. So the chemical is down here, and you basically crush that. You squeeze it, you crush it, the product comes out into here, and you basically place this about every 100 square feet where roaches are. Usually at one per kitchen is enough. We'll date it. That way we know that every three months, if we're using it for roach control, it's got to be... Um, dated and that way we know when we have to replace it. They have the little glue thingies in the back that you will put uh, on the back to glue it to surfaces. All right, so granular bait for roaches, American roaches especially, and ant control. 
Max Force Complete. Now, Max Force Complete can only be put into voids, crevices, in cracks, crevices. It can't be put out in the open, uh, and it has to be put into voids and in stations. So it is a great, 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 great product uh, for a, a crazy ant, a big-headed ant. So if you have ants that are, are feeding uh, proteins and carbs, this is a great bait for that. Yeah, let's see what else. All right, so we've got another bait, Avert. Love Avert as an add-on bait for American and German roaches to put into voids. Like, you have to put it in the back of the dishwasher, in the back of the refrigerator, somewhere where in the voids, in the kitchen cabinets. This is a great, put it behind the outlet in the wall for American roaches, especially in apartment buildings where they're going to transfer from one place to another. Avert. Dry flowable. Let's see here. There you go. Okay, let's see what other goodies we have. All right. Max Force Quantum gel bait for glucose feeding ants, especially ghost ants, crazy ants, uh, big headed ants, white footed ants. Pretty much every tramp ant that you have, this will do the trick. We also carry for borate services, Thiquid. Thiquid goes with our borate program. So this is our eco-friendly indoor program to control ants, roaches, and silverfish right over here. And over here we got the synthetic products that are, by the way, all of these products right here, if you're in California, if you're in New York, which are very strict, all of these products comply with state regulation, especially in San Francisco. These are all tier three San Francisco. Uh, these will also all qualify to be used, all of these to be used in lead buildings because they're very low impact, very low toxicity. There's very little risk with these products. These are reduced risk products. So we got our gel bait. I don't use a gel bait gun. I use the syringe. I have very good control with this. Um, it allows me to be very precise with the syringe that I can't be with a lot of guns. If I cannot reach a high cabinet, a light, a surface, we've got this tool to be added with our bait. We do is we take this out of there. We're going to put that little thing there. We're going to build this and I'm able now to get 18 to 20 inches in the air. I can reach my ceiling. Uh, with this very easily. So you're going to go to eight feet very easily, especially in those back top cabinets that you can't reach. Uh, you don't need a ladder for a lot of places. Say, well, you need a ladder because you need to do inspection. Now you've got a smartphone. You can put that on a selfie stick and you can get pictures and video of the entire surface. You don't need to get up on a ladder. So we've got our roach bait there. Ah, brush. If you're using bait, and you need to get it into a crack and crevice, and you can't get it back there. You just push it in with the brush. So we've got a brush for that. If you need to do an inspection in a tall place, telescopic, mirror, to do inspection. Yeah, we got one of these in there. And what are we using? Ah, trusty screwdriver. I love this screwdriver because it's got small Phillips, small flat on one end, all right? Turn it around, around the other end, and you've got a large Phillips and a large flat. For doing, removing plates in a kitchen, we remove plates in all kitchens to treat all German roach jobs, even on follow-ups, because we found that if you don't open up those outlets and you don't treat behind there, you're not going to get the control because they're not coming out of there. Last but not least, ah, Max Force. Buffet stations. If you have to use granular bait or liquid bait, let me show you this. This is fantastic. This little station has four little compartments, plus you have this here, the little corners. And what you can do is you can put granular bait in one. If you've got like a places where you want to shove this somewhere, and especially if you've got ants that are eating protein uh, baits, like uh, big headed ants, or you've got crazy ants, or you've got carpenter ants, you can actually put these in here. You can also take your liquid bait, put your liquid bait, dilute it down because ants love water. 
And if you can create a station with water with a lot of humidity, especially with a boric acid bay like thicker, which is very thick, it goes on almost like a hard gel, and then you can reduce it down because it's 5%. Carpenter ants, if you reduce it down to below 1% of boric acid or any type of borate, if you get it down below, they're going to take more feedings and you're going to control carpenter ants with a borate bait. That's right. Uh, most of you do not know that. But yes, so um, I also carried another bait, Maxworth Fleet, uh, if I need it for certain types of hard to control ants that we can't control with the other baits. And uh, that's pretty much it. I got a spare tube of Avert in case I run out. And then I got in here a three quarter used tube. Uh, about this product right here, you will get down to about that much product and then you won't be able to use this because of this little stopper here does not go all the way through. So we still remove it and we'll use it, empty it out with a regular uh, syringe that we're using. And that is everything I have in my bag of tricks. And this is everything that we need to control ants, roaches and silverfish, which is 95% of the calls that we get to control in the home. We never have to spray. We can solve it with all these products. Uh, it is a lot of product to carry, but you're carrying it in a nice pouch. Everything is convenient. You're opening it up. You're able to close it up so nobody's touching it. It's got a nice little handle that you can lift it from while you're walking through the house so you don't have to put it on your back. If you're walking through a large building and you're doing an apartment building or you're doing a hotel, it's great because you can carry it around. You've got everything you need. The only thing it doesn't have is a place for a water bottle and a sandwich. Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pistacular day.